Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are group 12 and we will be presenting index number chapter 10, question 1 and 2. Question 1 based on table 30, which is table shown now. For question A1, we are asked to find the values of x, y, and z. For x, we would have to divide 580, which is the price per unit for the year 2011 divided by 5, which is the price per unit for the year 2009. And then multiply that value with 100. So then that would leave us with the final answer of x is equivalent to 116. For y, the price index is already given, which is 120. So when we substitute into the formula, it would be 120 is equivalent to y divided by 440 multiplied by 100. To obtain y, we would have to divide 120 with 100 and then multiply by 440. And so we get y is equivalent to 5.28. For z, the price index is already given, which is 125. When you substitute into the formula, it would be 125 equals to 8 over z multiplied by 100. When you rearrange, you would get 8 divided by 125 over 100. And so you get z, which is 6.40. First, write the composite index formula. Substitute the values given from the question into the formula. And lastly, solve the equation. Question 1c problem statement. The cost for all the exercise books in the year 2011 is 80 ringgit. Calculate the corresponding cost in the year 2009. Firstly, we have to know that the composite index of 2011 based on the year 2009 is 117.25 which is the production of the calculation in question 1b. Firstly, we have to form an equation. Cost of 2011 over cost of 2009 multiplied by 100 equals to 117.25. Next, we substitute 80 ringgit in the cost of 2011. Next, we have to rearrange the equation in terms of cost of 2009. Lastly, we will get the result which is 68 ringgit and 23 cent for the cost of 2009. 1D Problem Statement The price index of C in the year 2013 based on the year 2009 is 142. Calculate the price index of C in the year of 2013 based on the year 2011. Firstly, we had to know that the composite index of C in the year 2011 based on 2009 is 105. For this kind of question, it is easier for us to use the lip method. The diagram shows the lip method. By the lip method, we can form an equation easily. The equation goes by 105 times B over 100 equals to 142. Then, we rearrange the equation in terms of B and in the doubt, we will get 135.24 as the price index of C in the year of 2013 based on the year 2011. Question 2 based on table 12. For question 2A1, we are asked to find the value of X. Uh, and we are given the sum which is 1037. So I'm going to the formula 1037 is equal to 110 plus 540 plus 3x. And then after that, we would add 110 with 540 which we get 650. And so 650 plus 3x is equivalent to 1037. What we're going to do next is minus 1037 with 650 in which we get 3x and then the value of what you minus just now which is 387 you would divide that by 3 to get x which is 129 for question 2a2 we are asked to find the cost of item r which also can be labeled as q14 and so from what from the value of x, which is 129, it would be equivalent to q14 over 25.2 multiplied by 100. When we rearrange the formula, it would be 129 over 100 multiplied by 25.20 to get the value of q14, which is r. And so the final answer would be r or q14 is equivalent to 32.51.
focus, write the composite index formula. Substitute the values given from the question into the formula. And lastly, solve the equation. For question uh, 2C1, I will use the LIPS method. Uh, 2014 based on 2011 is 133.7 and 2015 based on 2014 is 115 so what we are going to find is 2015 based on 2011 which is x so 133.7 times 150 uh, divided by x is equal to 100 so x which is the composite index of 2015 based on 2011 is 153.76 uh, we know that composite index 2015 based on 2011 is q 2015 based on 2011 times 100 153.76 equals to 68 divided by uh, 2011 times 100 so, Q 2011 is equal to 68 uh, divided by 153.76 times 100. So, the answer is 44.22 by 100. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.